Welcome to the Buzz by India today. The origins of the Israel and Palestine conflict can be traced back to the late 1800s, area now called Palestine, was then a part of the Ottoman Empire, the ruler of that part of the Middle East. After the Ottoman Empire, was defeated in World War I and Britain conquered Palestine. The British Army ruled Palestine until a civil administration was established on July 1, 1920 after Britain was granted a mandate for Palestine on April 25, 1920. Britain took control of the area under a League of Nations mandate. League of Nations was the first worldwide intergovernmental organization whose principal mission was to maintain world peace. At that time a Jewish minority and an Arab majority lived on the land, but then the international community tasked Britain with establishing a national home for Jews in Palestine. The area now called Palestine was their ancestral home for Jews, but Palestinian Arabs also claimed the land and were opposed to the move. All through the 20s and 30s the tensions between the Jews and the Arabs kept building up. Two incidents one in 1929 called the Wailing Wall Riots, and one in 1936, an Arab revolt, were major flashpoints of religious divide between the two communities. Let's first talk about the He Wailing Wall Riots. According to the UN documents the riots are described as thus. In September, 1928, there occurred an incident, trivial in itself, which set up a chain of reactions the cumulative effect of which was to strengthen the element of religious feeling in the Muslim Arab attitude to the growth of the Jewish national home. The center of Muslim worship in Palestine, and one of the most sacred places of Islam, is a large rectangular area in the old city of Jerusalem known as the Haram el-Sharif. The lower part of a section of the exterior wall bounding this area on the west is believed to be also the last surviving fragment of Herod's temple, built on the site of the Temple of Solomon. As such, this wall, generally known as the Wailing Wall, is a holy place to Jews, who have a long-established right of access to it for devotional purposes. The exercise of this right was strictly defined by custom, and the introduction of a screen to divide men from women during prayers on the Day of Atonement, in 1928, was at once denounced by the Muslims as an innovation. The removal of the screen by the policy gave rise in turn to complaints by Jewish authorities. After this incident the in a memorandum presented to the administration, the Supreme Muslim Council declared their belief that the Jews' aim is to take possession of the Mosque of Al-Aqsa gradually. The same Al-Aqsa Mosque that has been the center of the violence between Israeli police and Palestinians for last two weeks. Meanwhile the international situation was also undergoing a change. During the 1930s and the 40s, Jews all over Europe were facing persecution and many started moving to what they considered their ancestral home, or their homeland. In 1933 after Adolf Hitler came to power in Germany, the immigration increased. These migrating Jews were buying up large tracts of land, sometimes from the Arab owners and thus the ownership patterns were changing. This triggered a violent Arab revolt of 1936. Violence between Jews and Arabs, and against British rule, also grew. This led to the British declaring. Palestine had two distinct societies with irreconcilable political demands, thus making it necessary to partition the land. Then came the United Nations Partition Plan. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan for Palestine, which would have divided the land into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem under international control. The Jewish community accepted the plan, but the Arab states and the Palestinian Arab leadership rejected it. In 1948, when the British mandate ended and the British left, Israel declared its independence to which the Arabs objected and this led to the first Arab-Israeli war. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians fled or were forced out of their homes and haven't yet been able to return. After the war, the proposed Arab state was not established for the Palestinians, and the West Bank was occupied by neighboring Arab country Jordan, while the Gaza Strip was occupied by Egypt. But these lines on the map were changed once again after the Six-Day War in 1967. Israel fought a brief war against Egypt, Jordan, and Syria, known as the Six-Day War. Israel captured the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, East Jerusalem and the Israeli settlement of these areas became a significant point of contention. Descendants of Palestinian refugees who were forced out due to the war continue to live in Gaza, the West Bank, and nearby countries like Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. Israel doesn't let them go back to their old homes because they believe it would cause too many problems and risk the survival of Israel as a country for Jewish people. Thus was born one of the most complex disputes of the world. A conflict born out of political and religious tussle and also out of the actions or inactions of the leading nations of the world. All the history after this is of conflict of both sides claiming the land as their own. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital, and the city is home to sites of immense religious significance for Jews, Muslims, and Christians. The status of Jerusalem remains one of the most contentious issues in the conflict. 
Israel declared Jerusalem as its capital in 1949, and its government institutions are based there. However, Palestinians also claim East Jerusalem, which was occupied by Israel in 1967 during the Six-Day War, as the capital of a future Palestinian state. The international community is divided on the issue, and many countries maintain their embassies in Tel Aviv, Israel's economic center, rather than Jerusalem. The last few decades of the 20th century were spent trying to work out peace between Palestinians and Israel even as the rise of Palestinian nationalism led to the establishment of PLO or the Palestine Liberation Organization in 1964 to represent the Palestinian people and their aspirations for an independent state. Every now and then some issue makes the tensions resurface, and this time it is Muslims fear that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's hard-right government may change long-standing rules that allowed Jews to visit but not pray at the Al-Aqsa compound the same mosque that was the center of 1929 riots. It is a never-ending cycle and the world is still looking for solutions even after almost 100 years of strife. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comments section and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.